challenge with Miranda Sings. I think this is probably my most popular video because it is absolutely great. Like the video is crazy. Let me just double check. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sunny and this is the YouTube show and tell tag by Zoella. The first question is, um, when and why did you start YouTube? Let me get on my computer here real quick and look at my channel. Okay, so I started my YouTube channel four years ago. I didn't post very many videos. Let's see, I only have 19 videos on my YouTube channel and a couple of them are even private, so you can't see them. Um, I started YouTube because I was just watching all these other people. Um, oh, here's my cute, yeah, this is Callie. <laughs> She has a chubby belly. She's not much of a cuddler, but she's cute. Even now she's like, please put me down. I like it, but I don't, okay. Oh, you got litter on me. So I started because I was just watching all these other people have a really good time doing it. And I actually wanted to join to make friends with people. And the dream would have, for me, would, would and would have been um, to be friends with the people that I watched and the first ever person that I watched was um, Fleur. Watching Fleur led into watching Zoe or Zoella and that just kind of introduced me to all of the British and American YouTubers that are kind of in that OG group and um, I really enjoyed it. I really thought it was fun. They are definitely like my kind of people. I would totally hang out with them if I met them in real life and I think we'd all be really good friends. My cat is playing with my curtains right now. Okay, so the next question is, what was the reason you started your channel and how does that compare to why you make videos today? It's actually quite similar to why I make videos today. I still want to get out there and meet people and make friends with the people in this really awesome community that YouTube has created. I kind of talked about that earlier saying that I wanted to make friends with people and um, so I just think it's a really great opportunity and I'm still trying to use it for that and I just I like finding people that share my interests and sharing my interests with other people. So this next question says um, what was the first ever video that you uploaded and it requires that you show a clip. Um, I will do my best to insert a clip here. Uh, the first ever video that I put up on my YouTube channel, I think I actually deleted um, years ago. I don't even remember what it is now. Uh, but the one that's still visible on my channel is um, 25 facts about me and I will insert a clip right here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Next question is who is the first person you subscribed to? I'm not actually sure. For the kind of community that I think I want to get in, I think the first person was probably Fleur, uh, Fleur de Force. If, if not, then Zoe? I don't know. I was not super up on like subscribing to people back then. It, for heaven's sake, it might have even been um, a music channel like one of those old Vivo channels that you subscribe to. Um, I wonder if that's, if I can find that. Yeah, I have no idea. Okay, next question. So the next question is, who was the most recent, <laughs> who is the most recent person you subscribe to or channel? Um, I'm not actually sure. I think the most recent channel that I have subscribed to is Rachel and June's Adventures and they are a married couple. She's American 
and he is Japanese and they live in Japan and they film the adventures that they take uh, as the name says <laughs> and they do little travel videos and stuff around Japan and June has a channel called June's Kitchen and he is a chef and his videos are incredible like if I just need a moment to chill out and zen I go watch his cooking videos um, because they have cats in them um, and he isn't just like cooking it's it's an art form. I mean, if you've ever gone to like a sushi restaurant and taken the time to sit and watch, stop, my cat is trying to get in my closet. Um, if you have taken the time to sit and watch the sushi chefs, like they are so talented and so well trained in, in what basically is an art form in Japanese culture. It's just, it's incredible and it just is very relaxing to me. <laughs> Oh, the next question is good. What is your least favorite video you have ever uploaded? Let me take a look at my channel <laughs> because there's a few that I really just don't like. I'm like, why? Can you stop being a poop head? I swear to God, she knows the camera is on and she's trying to be as annoying and disruptive as possible. I'll try and show you. Oh. I had to move the curtains because she would not stop trying to eat them and now she's eating my blankets. I'm so cute. Yeah, you're cute, but you're so disruptive and destructive. Cats, everybody, you know? Okay. Least favorite video I have ever uploaded. I do not like, from four years ago, my visit, the closet confidential tag. Uh, not one of my favorites. I did the what's in my bag tag three years ago. Still not one of my favorites. Basically, I don't like any of them. <laughs> uh, actually, that's a lie. I do like most of them. My least favorite video, um, I did a like camera giveaway entry video for something that Alfie Days was doing. Um, he was like giving away some vlog cameras a couple, two years ago. And so like I submitted an entry and it was super like personal, which I mean, I am being myself on this channel with you guys. My cat is attacking my bum right now. Cut it out. You're so annoying. But I love it. I, I don't know. It was just like really super almost emotional anyway it's still on my channel because I didn't save like the footage from it and I figured like don't delete it maybe you'll want to watch it someday um and so it's on private on my channel okay the next question is what is your most popular video and why do you think that is my most popular video um so small channel here is actually kind of surprising to me it's my 25 facts about me video um, I think, I think that's probably my most popular video because people, uh, when they are, this is just my idea, I don't know this for sure, but in my, um, mind, people want to get to know you, um, quickly, so they go to the video where you tell them the most things about yourself, so... <laughs> 25 facts about me, there's no quicker way to get to know someone and no like random odd things about them. So yeah, so I have 303 videos on that video. The next question is how many videos do you have on private or unlisted? And let's see, I have one, actually a surprising two. I um have one private and one unlisted, which surprises me because I have 19 videos total, total, and some of the ones I listed and the ones that I don't like, I feel like would be ones that I would put private. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, the next question is, which YouTuber would you choose above the rest in your subscription box at the moment? That's a really difficult probably Jess and Gabriel's channel. They are a married couple who met through Instagram, who would have thought, um, and she's Australian and he is American 
and um, I have followed their relationship almost from the beginning, which is pretty cool. Um, and I just think they're really cute and um, good, kind people, and I like to uh, watch what they get up to. Hi. Oh, okay, so then she kind of amends the question and says, um, if everyone in your subscription box uploaded a video at the same time and you had to choose the first one to watch, who would it be? Well, in that case, uh, Zoe, she's my favorite. I, uh, I would definitely choose her channel first. Double chip. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> she says, who would be your dream collaboration? So she doesn't mean just other YouTubers. So I think for my YouTube collaboration, um, I'm gonna pick a top three. Uh, she would be in it. Jess Gabriel and Jack O'Brazier would be one that I would love to, um, just because they make hilarious videos and they always make me laugh when all three of them are together. Um, and my third one would be be Liza Koshy because she is just oh, she just cracks me up she's so funny but then if I could collaborate with anyone in the world I think that's too broad for me I, I have no idea who I would collaborate in that case so her next question is if all your videos but one were deleted which would you keep oh okay so like if you had to delete all of them except for one which one would it be I think the one that I would keep is probably my Autumn Lookbook 2015. That's the one I had the most fun filming. Um, I'm the most proud of that one and the editing was, you know, stellar if I can say so myself. <laughs> Which I did all the editing myself so um, I'm just really proud of how well that I feel I did on that video. Okay. Next question, what is the best thing to have come out of creating a YouTube account? Maybe the the self-confidence of putting a video out there and kind of you're putting yourself out there for anyone in the world to see and um, I feel like that takes a lot of guts. What one piece of advice would you give other YouTubers? And honestly, I feel like every YouTuber uh, gives this advice. It's be yourself and um, be comfortable being yourself and accept those things um, that you may not like about yourself and if you don't like them about yourself think about why and think about how you could love yourself more and don't listen to the haters because honestly if they don't like something about you or they don't like you in general they don't have to watch your videos they don't have to click on your channel and click on the comment and tell you why they hate you so much. They don't have to do that, so you don't have to listen to that. You should, um, you know, if it's there, don't let it bother you because obviously, and I know, like, I've had a comment or two in my small YouTube days that kind of affected me in negatively. Um, honestly, can't even remember what they said now. That's how unimportant it is and someone will get under your skin but you're gonna be okay you're gonna grow and move on from it and don't let what someone else thinks change how you see yourself and what you do and what you love to do because in my opinion if you love doing YouTube do it do what you love to do okay so that is it for the tag, the YouTube show and tell tag that Zoella invented, um, Zoe invented. Um, and so at the end she says to share some of your favorite YouTubers and maybe tag them um, down below in the description box. So I actually went and am currently looking at her list and I just think it's really cool. We have a lot um, in common. She's enjoying Kate Levie who is a Scottish YouTuber who I also really enjoy watching. Um, she has David Dobrik and Liza Koshy, Carrie Rad, um, Justin Gabriel, all of these people are people that I love to watch. Um, Tanya Burr and Mark Ferris, I love them. The Meldrums, who are um, a smaller YouTube channel, um, they are also a Scottish YouTube family uh, that vlogs their lives and uh, they have three gorgeous little girls and 
She also has Estee Lalonde, or Estee Lalonde. Um, she is someone that I have watched on YouTube for quite a few years as well. And um, yeah, I just thought it was pretty cool to take a look through her list and someone I admire and would like to know also enjoys watching the people that I admire and like to know, would like to know. <laughs> she probably knows most of the people on her list. Um, anyway, that's it for today. My name is Sunny. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch you next time. So just one last thing. Of course I'm done filming and now she decides, adjust, 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 now she decides it's time to relax and not try and destroy the covers. And be cute. And sleep. Oh, but she's gonna bite me. She's still gonna bite me. Or maybe not. Maybe she wants to cuddle this time. Are you cute? Are you just so cute? Thank you, face. Oh, is it kids for me? Are you cute? Oh, is he so cute? Okay. No, stop it.